Hello everyone, Joe Stangaroni, Regional Sales Manager with CR Arms Group. Today, we're going to have a little presentation on high-speed plastic machining, and we're going to talk about pendulum processing as well. Here at CR Arms Group, we do all the design, engineering, assembly, and fabrication of our machines right here in our facility in Troutman, North Carolina. So first, let's talk a little bit about pendulum processing. In traditional machining, I've got a single table, and let's say, for example, my job time to cut all my parts is 8 minutes, 35 seconds. Now, the operator has to remove all the parts from the table, clean off the table, throw the scrap in a dumpster, and load the next sheet of material. And let's say, for conversation, that takes a minute, 40 seconds. The whole idea of pendulum processing is that I can have material on two tables behind me here. So while the head is machining under one table, the operator can be safely loading and unloading the other table. Basically, the whole idea is taking load unload time out of the equation. 100% spindle utilization, that means more parts per day. So today we're gonna illustrate that on what we refer to as a C-series here at CR Roundtree. A C-series is a fixed bridge, twin moving table machine. And we're gonna talk a little bit about why that's a better machine in certain applications. So first off, let's talk about machining plastics. Plastics machine relatively easy on any CNC router. But if your application is a more demanding one where you care about edge cut quality and productivity, that's when I gravitate towards the rigidity, the additional rigidity of a CR Rounds Root fixed bridge moving table machine. And basically the reason for that is on this type of machine, the bridge is actually attached to the base, and that's what gives me that greater rigidity. On a traditional moving gantry machine, when the tool comes in contact with the material, I tend to incur deflection, and that deflection is going to compromise edge cut quality and finish quality. So that being said, um, some of the additional benefits of this type of the machine is that it's ball screw in all axes. A ball screw is going to give me much better accuracy out of the box and much greater accuracy over time, equally important. So this machine, just as an example, happens to be a C-series with a 12-foot process area. This one happens to be configured with twin six-foot tables. They're available with twin five-foot or four-foot tables as well. And we also offer a very unique split of 12-4. That comes in very handy in a lot of woodworking applications where let's say, for example, someone is doing nested base on an eight by four sheet, and then they need to flip over some parts and do some secondary operations on the back side. So um, other common options on a configuration like this, we do offer standard spindle is 18 horsepower. We do offer 24 horse for more aggressive applications. MQL, minimum quantity lubrication, basically adding a little bit of lubricity to the cut with the idea of getting much better edge cut quality and better tool life when I'm doing non-ferrous machining. In woodworking applications, we commonly offer a drill block on this machine as well. Nine spindles, 15 spindles, really dependent on the customer's application. We look at the customer's unique application and tailor a solution around their needs. Another common configuration for this machine is dual spindle. So I could use that in an array of different modes. I could engage two spindles on one table and cut two smaller identical parts simultaneously or I can engage a spindle in each table and cut two larger identical parts simultaneously, or the ultimate flexibility, what we refer to as dual process. With dual process, I can be cutting two completely different job files simultaneously, the ultimate flexibility. So again, when I'm looking for a machine for the most demanding applications, I gravitate towards our fixed bridge moving table design. One more benefit I wanna to touch on um, as far as moving bridge versus moving gantry, on a moving gantry machine, I've got to take the weight of that bridge, and let's say for conversation it's 2,000 pounds. I need to accelerate that up to speed and then decelerate when I reach the next point, okay? Major benefit of a moving table design machine is that I'm just moving the weight of the aluminum table and the material that I've placed on top of it. So we're able to tune the machine with much greater acceleration and deceleration. So for conversation, let's say you look at a brochure and both machines move at 3,000 inches a minute, this faster acceleration and deceleration that you're gonna see in our demonstration is going to have a major impact on reducing cycle time. And at the end of the day, you didn't really care about 3,000 inches a minute. What you care about is how many parts you get off the machine.